What's up, riders? It's that time. It's uh, another ride home review, and it's a retro review, and we're going to be talking about the opposite of sex. Opposite of sex stars, uh, um, sorry, Christina Ricci, uh, Lisa Kudrow, and Martin. Uh, oh, it's not Martin Freeman. Martin Domit, Donovan. So, um. Plus, it's directed by Don Roos. But before we get into all of that, do not forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, starting with Apple Podcasts, as well as subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, and follow on Instagram. So there you have it. Now let's get right into it. What is The Opposites of Sex all about? Well, it really revolves around a 16-year-old girl who leaves home. Um, uh, to move in with her gay half brother and then continues to kind of like, uh, wreck his life. And of course there's the secondary and tertiary characters around that. What did I like about this film? Um, well, first of all, I liked the story. I thought the story was pretty snappy, um, pretty witty. Uh, I, th I thought it was well laid out. The concept was there. I really dug it. I really dug the, uh, um, the whole premise of it. Um, the other aspect I really liked was uh, Lisa Kudrow. Lisa Kudrow was absolutely outstanding in this film. And in fact, she brought the film up out of the, the level uh, it was trying to play in. Um, she, she gave it that extra, extra oomph. I thought that, you know, um, she was key to making this movie successful. I mean, Christina Ricci is good. Don't get me wrong, but uh, that was it really. I liked, I liked the whole concept and I liked, you know, um, I liked what Lisa Kudrow brought to the film as for, uh, what I didn't like was, um, pretty much everything else. I, I thought with the, the snappiness and the wittiness of the script, I felt that the majority of the cast just did not hold water. Um, uh, I mean, Johnny Galecki is in there, but uh, felt he was underutilized. But he was good where he was. Lisa Kudrow, like I said before, she was great. Christina Ricci was great, but I thought there was uh, too much narration. It just the the other folks in that were in this film just not did not deliver on the wittiness of the script. They did not deliver. And I don't think it was particularly directed well in that regard, in a, in a sense that this wittiness was not pulled out of the, the cast like it could have been. And I don't know why Lyle Lovett was consistently cast as an actor in the, in the nineties. I really don't. This is when it took place at, or uh, excuse me, this is when it, was released was in the 97. Um, so yeah. Uh, and yeah. And so it was, it's not a good film. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot better than what it was. I heard a lot of good things about it, but I also don't think that the material holds up. Um, it's very, it's a very outdated film in some of the, uh, the, social the social aspects of where we were then as to where we are now it just i just didn't think it translate it translates well uh two decades later and so yeah i don't recommend this film at all um i know lisa kudrow is really good in this film and christina ricci gives a commendable performance but it's still below her and uh just yeah. 
So you can watch this on Amazon Prime if you feel like it. But like I said, I don't recommend this movie at all. Um, and so you can pass on this one, but you won't miss anything if you have a Prime membership and just want to watch something that's mindless. However, well written and very witty. So I got to give it props for that. And what to watch for? Uh, this is Lisa Kudrow's performance. There's not much more else, much, much else that I thought stood out in this film. Maybe Johnny Galecki. But like I said, he was very underutilized with what he was trying to bring in to the uh, into the frame. So that's where it is. So that's my review. This gets a definite no. Um, of course, this is like I said, you can see this on Amazon Prime and stay tuned for the next review, which will be coming out soon. And so follow us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, you subscribe on YouTube, as well as follow on uh, Instagram, like on Facebook. And until next time, watch something cool. And it probably won't be the opposite of sex. See you next time.